Welcome Cancer to your weekly love reading for February 19th to the 25th of 2018. So I'm going to do a 10 card Celtic Cross Birth for you, Cancer. All right, already shuffled off camera. I'm going to see Cancer in love February 19th to the 25th of 2018. So the theme, the Six of Cups, and this is reminiscing nostalgia about the past. Uh, someone may be from uh, your past is coming around again. You may be having feelings about this person, dreams uh, about this person, um, past love affair, something like that going on. We'll see. And there's a lot of confusion about this person, though, um, that comes with this person, a lot of anxiety around them. If you're thinking about reconciling with them be sure that there is some clarity there with this moon being here because i feel um either you're spoken for or another person is spoken for um or they may have some kind of hidden agenda um that does cause anxiety when you are around this person a lot of confusion or fear um with them could be with another uh water sign as well and you have the knight of wands so it seems to me that there may be some kind of like a hidden sexual attraction or something that goes on behind closed doors with you and someone else that you may not be revealing um and i feel like this person may be in and out of your life at times so there's some something that's going on with some kind of sexual uh this attraction this uh thing maybe late at night maybe throughout the week you know something like that could be going on just depends and it could be with the water sign doesn't have to be um the recent past is the king of cups showing up so a lot of you could have been a bit you know happy you know pleasant to be around another person that you may have been happy um to be around as well to communicate to kind of just uh get that emotional uh security you know from that person it just depends now the hate of everything there's this card is coming out for a lot of people um the home environment issues around the home uh communication some of you could be kind of going your separate ways with another person at this time if you are having issues with your romantic partner you could be thinking about um temptation you know those kind of things especially if you're going through arguments or disputes with someone um there could be some issues going on with this person and i feel for some you may feel or have like this doubt um this um Intuition is telling you that something is off if you're talking to someone or getting to know someone new. That they could be dealing with an ex-partner or someone else. Um, and you know, while I'm doing this, I'm looking at the spread that's laid out here. So, there are some issues there where someone is going through a separation or divorce. Some of you having issues with home. And the tower is coming through. Through this particular energy, I feel that there may be some kind of drama, some kind of arguments or dispute, something that... Um, happens in the extreme light where there's some kind of breakup or separation with you and someone else the tower is coming through that's the energy that's coming towards you and how might you respond is um, this aggressive energy of kind of wanting to go to battle but you kind of step away from it because you feel that it's best for you and who else whoever else may be involved and this is like getting away from a certain person not even communicating not wanting to talk to them so it could be an aquarius libra or gemini another person entirely or three people are showing up here so far but i feel like this is like not taking action not wanting to um get involved in something after you address it you kind of get away from it right kind of trying to hide from the issue um not saying that you're hiding from them because you're afraid but just not wanting to be bothered now how others are seeing you or your romantic partner is being indecisive, not really sure of what you want. Maybe in and out with them, in and out with another person. Um, just maybe a one-nighter could be something that some of you um, resonate with. But this is uh, being indecisive because someone may not be very decisive about opening up to you right now, which is causing you a lot of confusion and anxiety, insecurity, those kind of things when you are around certain people. And it's really having an effect on your uh, self-esteem, I feel, for some. Because of the rejection or different things like that going on. And what your partner might be up to if you're dealing with someone. They're moving on from you. Um, a certain person or situation. They could be moving on to someone else that they've been talking to. But they are separating if you are talking to someone. Just um, being emotionally disappointed. And then the outcome is the sun. 
all right the sun is here where you're kind of getting your bearings back in order you focus on a few things you handle them you address them you move away from the situation and then you start to have some fun some kind of joy something that makes you happy or someone that you're around that makes you happy it could be dealing with the leo for some of you out there but this is kind of like something gets stirred up um which may be an excuse to kind of free you up so then you can enjoy yourself with other activities or other people if this is something if you feel smothered by uh, a certain person or your partner um, for some of you out there you may have children with uh, an ex-partner or someone that you've dealt with and when you two come around maybe that's like the it's not an excuse to be intimate with that person but you know the closeness or them being around and you not having someone else there maybe that's part of you giving in to um, that interaction with them on a sexual kind of uh, level I feel for some all right so let's see let's do another uh, spread for you for another spread for cancer oh man you know what I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to take a screenshot of that spread I did just now um, I may still put it up there <laughs> but we're gonna do a five card spread for cancer for February 19th to the 25th five card spread for cancer for February 19th to the 25th of 2018 overall energy lots are happening what's coming towards you how much you respond the outcome for cancer for February 19th to the 25th 2018 cancer. and love Overall energy, seven of swords. Someone is not being honest about something. And that's when that moon was showing up. There is some deception going on with you or another person. Or why it's all happening. Someone, you or another person is still healing from the past relationship partner. And them being around them or you being around whoever you're dealing with. Um, it could cause you know temptation with the past. To hold you on to the past. I, I get a sense of arguments and disputes and things like that going on um, different very sensitive topics being brought up which may cause a tower event you know depending on how um, heavy that scar or that bruise was all right um, what's coming towards you is the soulmate so there are lessons with this particular connection I feel um, this is a card of um, unconditional love but you know there does there are conditions that comes with the soulmate energy I feel um, different situations that you are placed in that you may not be able to understand on um, a physical level you know maybe in a spiritual level a soul level you may be able to understand these things but uh, someone is um, it could be a Pisces Scorpio Cancer but um, some of you are connected to a soulmate and that's why it could be very complicated for things to be resolved right away all right how might you respond a lot of you are reaching for that new beginning so this is a week to maybe focus on yourself to maybe ask yourself questions about what you want right now what you can focus on especially if you're having to move away from a certain person so um, it could be with an Aries but this is uh, you focusing on you and then the outcome is the king of swords so I feel like you're having to make sure that whoever you are opening yourself up to if you are constantly being disappointed or lied to if your intuition is constantly telling you that there's a red flag that you shouldn't just automatically just trust this person not saying that you know a lot of you are naive like that but sometimes we can fall into that trap of accepting someone them convincing us that things are cool and they're not and then you fall for it again so make sure that you are seeking the truth that you are being emotionally detached from this particular person because they may not be uh, quite honest with you at this time so um, the king of swords could be a completely different person as well Aquarius Libra, Gemini that you are around and dealing with that you may want to start this new beginning with but they may not be ready uh, just yet because there is some dishonesty going on and I want to clarify just one card on um, the seven swords what might be behind the seven swords and this is the nine of pentacles in reverse I feel for some of you where you are 
your partner, someone that you're getting to know, um, could be holding on to another person because they're financially uh, dependent on that person or situation. Maybe someone is still kind of asking their partner or ex-partner for um, take care of the children or you owe me this you know making excuses bringing up different things from the past so that they can stay around uh monetarily monetarily you know with money and um let's see clarify the seven of swords for cancer again and then the ace of wands is here so in the midst of them being dishonest yes there is this new attraction with you and someone else but you someone is dealing with someone else right now um, from the past I feel and it's not cleared out just yet um, so you're not you're having to wait until this person is you know out of the picture in order for you to kind of make this thing work I feel for some that's what it looks like to me so I do hope that the messages did help you out um, lots of love to you lots of light tons of feeling vibes and I wish you the very best and make sure that if you would like a private or personal reading that you go to the website psychiclovehills.com and schedule something for you have a good one